Hello everyone. Welcome to Spring Boot Tutorial Episode 12. This is my channel ProtoHub. In this episode, we will discuss the most frequently asked interview questions on Spring Boot Fundamentals. To discuss, we have a regular guest with us. Hello Priya, nice to see you. Hello Chan, nice to see you too. Priya, I have a collection of most frequently asked Spring Boot interview questions with me. Shall we start discussing the questions? Yes Chan, we shall start. Before discussing, let me tell you that, answers to all the questions to be discussed here, is available in the GitHub link in the description. The first question is, what is the default server on Spring Boot? Question number 2 is, what is it configuration annotation? Question number 3 is, is it bean annotation used at class level? If not, in which level it is used? Question number 4 is, how many annotations are required to start a simple Spring Boot application? Question number 5 is, you want to add Spring Security dependency to your application. Where do you add it? Question number 6 is, I have an application with a bean A, which is already registered on IOC. The scope of the registered bean has to change for every sessions. What should I do? Question number 7 is most important one. How can I use other servers like Jetty instead of using Tomcat? Eighth question is, what will be the output when two methods of same type or classes have at the rate primary annotation? Question number 9 is, what will be the output when application is started in following scenario? I have a class A. I do not annotate class A with the rate component, but I will auto wire class A on class B. Question number 10 is, what will be the output when application is started in following scenario? I have a class A. I will annotate class A with the rate component, but I will not annotate with the rate auto wired on class B when injecting class A. Next question is, is it required to mention the starter dependencies version on pom.xml file? Next one is, which jar dependency is mandatory for running Spring Boot application? Thirteenth question is, what are the changes you do, to change a simple Spring based application to a Spring Boot application? Next question is, how many ways are there to create a Spring Boot project? The last question of this episode is, what is an entry point of execution in Spring Boot application? That's it for this episode. So far, we have discussed 15 most frequently asked interview questions on Spring Boot. As I already told, the answers to all the discussed questions, are available in GitHub link in the description. Thank you Priya, for being here to discuss these important questions. Sure Chan, this episode feels very informative to me. Thank you all, and see you probably in next episode.